Nadine Wilkins here, and my topic for today is the top three reasons why entrepreneurs fail to get started. So I'm gonna jump right into it. Number one, the number one reason, reason number one is perfection. So you've been dreaming about this business that you've always wanted to start. You dream about the possibility of one day being able to walk away from your full-time job, being able to spend more time with your children, being able to take that family vacation you've been thinking about, being able to just have more time to spend with the people that you love the most without sacrificing what's most important to you. But when you get to the part where you're like, okay, I'm going to do this, you allow perfection to get in the way. So what does that look like as a new entrepreneur or an entrepreneur or parent? What it looks like is you having to have the perfect website, the perfect logo, the perfect marketing um, plan, the perfect social media content to post, the perfect cameras, the perfect lighting, all of these things that are not going to help you get started. I'm here to let every single person know all you need to get started is number one, a desire, and number two, a cell phone, right? Like that's it, that's all you need to get started. One thing I can tell you is this, there were more new, and then also another thing is, you're thinking about the perfect conditions, and I'm here to tell you the conditions will not be perfect. One thing I can tell you is this, the most new millionaires were born out of the Great Depression, and guess what, those conditions could not have been any less perfect. Perfect, so stop waiting for the situation to be perfect and just get started. Reason number two is you treat your business like a hobby or you treat it as this thing that, oh, I'll get to it when I get to it. One thing I know is this, Anything that you really want to do and you want to do it at a high level, you're going to have to specialize in it, right? You, you got to be a specialist, right? So if you treat becoming an entrepreneur or a business owner as something that I'll get to when I get to it, guess what? You're not going to get the results or the impact that you desire. Another thing that I often hear is, well, you know, when I'm able to, one day I'll be able to quit my job and I'll do the business full time. Newsflash, if you can't find a way to build the business while you're working full time, while you're, you know, um, raising a family, you having more time will not just give you the motivation to just treat it like the business it deserves to be treated. So most entrepreneurs, when they get started, they're actually working full time. It's called multiple streams of income. They're working full time, they're running their business part time, and maybe one day that business that they're running part time, their income will supersede their full time and then they have more choices. But don't be the amateur entrepreneur who gets started and they're like, okay, I'm gonna quit my job today. No, don't do that. Most entrepreneurs start a business by working full time. And the third reason why, the top reason why entrepreneurs fail um, but before they start is number one, they just don't take action, right? Like you can have the best ideas in the world, but if you never get around to taking action around those ideas, well, guess what? It's, it's just never going to come to fruition. You're never going to have the impact that you desire to make. So the only way to get it from being an idea in your mind to something that is in reality, to something that you're building towards is to just take action. Don't wait for the conditions to be perfect. Don't wait for your ducks to line up in a row because they're not. And know that while you're on the journey, you're going to have so many ups and downs like a roller coaster. Know that you are going to go on an emotional roller coaster because guess what? It is something new for you, and you're also stepping outside of your comfort zone. So if you are a new entrepreneurial parent, or you're a new entrepreneur, and you want to dodge some of these pitfalls of what new, of how new entrepreneurs felt, definitely check out my new case study video that I put together on my website, workwithnadine.com, and I definitely love to uh, continue on this conversation. Leave a comment. Um, if you are an entrepreneur already or you're looking to be an entrepreneur, what's stopping you? Definitely drop a comment in the link. I look forward to connecting with you soon. Take care, guys, and God bless.